How much would the sea level change if all of the whales disappeared? I mean, whales are some of the largest animals in the world. Surely removing them would change our oceans drastically, right? And for that matter, how much whale is there in the world anyways? What could we even do with all of it? Let's find out. Since whales are actually a very diverse bunch of animals, let's hone in on the largest whale, the blue whale. Coming in at up to 200 tons, the blue whale reigns supreme. However, despite being the largest animal, it is also an endangered species with only 10 to 25,000 individual whales. This means that with the most liberal numbers, the blue whale biomass is 4.54 times 10 to the 9th kilograms, which is huge, more than 1,800 Olympic-sized swimming pools. But 1,800 pools of whale are nowhere near as huge as the amount of water in the oceans. According to data compiled by the Physics Factbook, the ocean has a mass of 1.4 times 10 to the 21st kilograms. The difference is almost 12 orders of magnitude. Let's put that into perspective. Imagine you've just plucked off a single strand of arm hair. Congratulations, you've just proportionately lost more mass than the oceans did by losing all of its blue whales. Finding the change in sea level, though, is a far more difficult endeavor. The sea isn't nearly as level as you may believe. Aside from the obvious waves and tides, the ocean gets pressed down by higher atmospheric pressure, its density changes due to dissolved salts, as well as the water cycle's constant flow. At any given moment, water is flowing into and out of the ocean at levels that put the whales to shame. The sea level wouldn't drop any more than a measuring error. The bigger question still remains, though. What happened to all the whales? Surely their lives were not taken in vain. After all, 28% of whales blubber, and 60% of blubber is whale oil. The same whale oil that was used to light lanterns in the early to mid-1800s and would still serve as a reasonable energy supply today. With all the whale we've collected, we would be able to power all of the United Kingdom for eight days. But there's more to whale than just their blubber. Blue whales are also 40% muscle, so we could replace all of the beef for whale in the United States and be able to meet demands for two months. Seems a bit underwhelming, doesn't it? Let's put that into perspective with another type of whale. With a population of 3 million, they're far more prolific than the blue whale. However, weighing in at an average of 77 kilograms each, the Welsh certainly underperform in the weight category. This gives them a biomass of 2.31 times 10 to the 8th kilograms, about 5% the mass of the blue whales. The Welsh are a bit thinner than the whales, though, with an estimated 20% body fat. I'll spare the details of... rendering. But after everything is butchered, boiled, spun, and separated, you'll be left with 4.62 times 10 to the 7th kilograms of usable fat. Using similar math as previously, we could repurpose the old whale power plant for the new Welsh power plant and provide 4.57 times 10 to the 8th kilowatt hours of energy, which would provide the new United Kingdom energy for 13 hours. When it comes to selling the meat, disregarding the potentially abysmal sales numbers, you'd be able to replace beef in the United States for 2.6 days. I'm sure that marketing would be able to find a good way to spin it, though. I mean, you should see the things some people eat.